Greetings, chess players. My name is Chris Torres, and this is Rosalea Jane Torres, and this is our daily chess musing for January 21st, 2021. Did you know today is a palindrome date? It's true. See, 12121 reads the same forward and backwards. If you know when the next palindrome day will be, let us know in the comments. Also, today was a great day for chess in Vacon Z. In round 5 of the 2021 Tata Steel Chess Tournament, Niels Grandelius defeated Maxime Vachel Legrave to take sole possession of first place. Grandelius' game was the only victory of the day and finished with a beautiful tactical flurry. In fact, let's take a closer look at some of the Grandmaster level tactics displayed before MVL's resignation. And we join our feature game between Niels Grandelius and Maxime Vacchia Legrave on move 30. Niels has just played queen g3, and MVL responds with g6. Can you spot Niels Grandelius' winning line? Try to write down as much of your own calculations as you can. I will give you 10 minutes, and then we will compare notes. As always, if you finish early, Fast forward to the point in the video when the clock is no longer present on the screen.
Grandelius plays 31 queen h4, which is brilliant and accurate. Let's break it down. 31 bishop f8. Maxime Vecchio le Grave chooses repositioning his bishop rather than taking the rook because if 31 gxf5, then exf5 attacking the queen, and MVL has to be very careful here because, for instance, if queen takes f5, then knight goes to e7, check fork. Also, if queen f7, then knight e7, check king f8, knight takes c8, the rook falls, and that's just the beginning. For instance, if black plays bishop d2, then queen d8, check queen e8, bishop g7, check. And the queen's going to be lost. King takes g7, queen takes e8. And finally, if gxf5, exf5, and queen e8, then white's knight still goes to e7 and says check. King f7, knight takes c8, queen takes c8, queen takes h6, queen x is c4, queen takes d6, king e8 defending the knight, 37 f6 threatening mate, Queen f7 stops the mate, but bleeds more material. Queen takes a6. Queen d5. Queen e2 check. King d8. Queen e7 check. King c8. And 41 bishop e3 is easily winning for white. And that's why Maxime Vicky le Grave chose to play bishop f8 after the queen h4 move. Rook goes to f6. White's piece placement is just brutal. Queen e8, because if after rook f6, knight takes f6, then knight takes f6, check, king f7, queen takes h7, check, bishop g7, knight g4, and black must part ways with the pin bishop because rook g8, knight h6, check, king e8, bishop takes g7, Rook f8, bishop takes f8, queen e5, check, black can try for the perpetual, but g3, queen b2, king g1, queen d4, king f1, queen takes c4, king f2, queen d4, check, king f3, queen f6, check, king g4, queen e6, check, king g5, queen e5, check, king takes g6, queen e6, check, king g7, queen d7, check, and finally, 48, king h8, and black has run out of checks that do not involve his queen leaving the board forever. But back to our actual game. So this fun started with 31, queen h4, and then bishop f8, and then rook f6, remember, threatening the queen, and then uh, queen e8, and Niels Grandelius plays 33, rook takes f8, check. Here, MVL plays queen takes f8, because if knight takes f8, then knight e7 check, king f7, and queen f6 mate. And if uh, king takes f8, then queen h6 check, king f7, queen g7, king e6, and then knight f4 mate. So MVL plays uh, queen takes f8. Then uh, 34, knight e7 check, king f7. And 35, knight takes c8. At this point, MVL resigns because queen takes c8, queen takes h7, check, king e8, queen takes g6, check, king d8, queen g8, check, king c7, queen takes c8, check, and king takes c8 is easily winning for white. I recommend visiting tatasteelchess.com for more information player interviews, and live broadcasts of this year's tournament. However, if your schedule doesn't allow you to stay up all night watching the event live, I humbly advocate coming to this YouTube channel to see recaps of the day's excitement in my Daily Chess Musings. Also, be sure to check out Daily Chess Musings' Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, at Tori's Chess, join our Daily Chess Musings Club on Chess.com, and peruse through all of our free chess lessons at dailychessmusings.com. And with that, we bid you adieu until tomorrow. But before you go, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons.